Atlanta, India Film Festival. So GICC is doing it since 2018 and it's good to see year after year they have improved it so much. And they are going aggressive about the film, Indian films here in this part of the world. So I'm very, very proud of GICC. Keep it up and help us in our public-private partnership to bring Brand India in Georgia more and more and to the larger audiences. How that fits in with the mission of GICC. Thank you very much, Grace. Very good evening to all of you. Are we all doing good? Thank you so much. So what does GIACC and AAFF have in common? We are a chamber that promotes trade and commerce between the state of Georgia and India, right? About five years back, we said, okay, you know, there are lots of avenues to promote trade and commerce. And we looked around, what is common between US and India? We have we both democracies and we both love movies. Of course, we love cricket and they love baseball and football, but between our great democracies, the common thing is movies and democracy. My name is Abhijit Ashwagan. I am coming from India, uh, from Kerala. Uh, here my movie is selected uh, in the AIFF, uh, Atlanta Indian Film Festival 2023. My movie name is uh, Generum 1947, Pranayam Puravini. And it's a movie uh, which uh, deals or telling the story of two old people which have been getting married after the age of uh, 70 years. That means they both have uh, in a second marriage phase and it's a beautiful love story. Yeah, I'm an independent uh, filmmaker and the director, writer and producer of this movie. Uh, and uh, I'm very happy to be here. Representation is such a hot topic these days. Do you feel like uh, movies are finally being accepted by mainstream America? You know, I always, I get, I, I've been, I've been asked this question for 20 years um, because I've been, I've been, I'm that old, and I've been doing it for that that long here in uh, the U.S. And I have to say that I was positive in the beginning, but looking back on what it was 20 years ago. I am so much more positive about it than I was because that because even when answering that question, you know, we're always being like, yes, it's so it's so great, but really the 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 amount of stuff that we were able to, um, as, as especially as an actor, to get roles, it was very minimal. Like it was uh, in the U.S., you know, gas station attendant, uh, convenience store owner, terrorist. Those were the ones that we got, and now I I really do think that it's opened up. As a matter of fact, I had a movie, um, me and my daughter were in at South by Southwest, which is about a, uh, a Pakistani family that's growing up in New Jersey. So um, it just, I, I think we've come a long way in the United States um, for representation. So I'm very happy. I don't think we're there yet, but we're, we're, we're getting there. Can you talk a little bit about Goldfish and how yeah, it happened? It's in English. It's, it was shot entirely in London and Kalki and Kalki Kalmani. Kalki and me, we play mother and daughter. It's about a, a woman who's getting into dementia or is suffering from dementia. And the relationship with the daughter is slightly, slightly, pretty much uh, <laughs> estranged. So, uh, 
This is the journey of the two. Uh, Deepthi ji, let's talk about Bollywood now. We have already spoken about Hollywood. Uh, from Miss Chamko to Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara, what changes have you seen in in the uh, filmmaking process in Bollywood? Uh, the industry is quite different now, you know, than it was. Like How so? Uh, so many changes. Uh, technically, we are very, very uh, savvy. Yeah. Um, the, there's much more professionalism in the industry now. There's a there's a method. You know, everything is much better organized. We earlier films we did. Uh, you know, so many of those films we shot from you know start to finish. Like we did all those art films and everything at a stretch. We're shooting for 30 days and then finish the film and then it's all over and then finally you say, oh, we actually finished it because you would you you would do those films in small budgets. Uh, most of my work was uh, affiliated with the art cinema, uh, but commercial now with, with all the technical know-how, it's I mean things look so much better. Also the digital, um, you can do things after shooting, so, <laughs> so CGI. you can improve the look of the film, yeah. and those things are nice, it's, it's it, you know, it feels good. So I think, um, yeah, cinematically we are at par with any, any, any other. Okay. Deepthi Ji, I want to ask you about you being a woman and being in the industry. And I know that uh, Thoda Saasman came out a long time ago and you had three generations of women and it was one of my favorite serial. So today, you know, if we had to, if, if you had to redo that, do you think women would be the same, uh, the three generations of women would ha same, face the same issues or the same challenges that they did back then? Well, I think the situations would still be the same. But the, the decision making on the women's part, like maybe Anu, the youngest girl, mm -hmm. the 20 year old. based out of Atlanta yes, I am. Uh, and so how did Goldfish happen is it your debut movie yes it's my first movie I'm the producer and this is just something I do out of passion so my main line of work is I run an IT company in, in Atlanta and this is something I had always wanted to do. for the last 30 years it was in my head so finally you know I'm able to do this and Goldfish is my first film as a producer so what was it like working with uh, uh, you know uh, Legendary actress like Deepika. Oh, amazing, Nawal. amazing! You know, I'm so happy that uh, I got to work with such talented people uh, for my first film, and it's been a beautiful experience. You know, it's been a learning experience. It's a beautiful experience. Everyone was so cooperative, and you know, it was just amazing. So my name is Antonio Moses. I am uh, an up-and-coming film director here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we have an amazing facility in Stonecrest, supporting the, the industry. We do documentaries feature films, 
um, and live streaming. Yeah, I'm going to act. You're going to yeah, act. Yes. So what's I your will be a, I will be a next door neighbor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's playing the uh, the wife and the next door neighbor. Uh, her character, his name is Mrs. Castleberry. Ms. Castleberry is um, a very eccentric woman. Um, what we consider here in America nosy. Um, she's very uh, comedic and she adds a lot of depth to the story. There's some Trap Factor Media here. She came out to the Atlanta Indian Film Festival. We got a nice little setup, you know, just showing off a few products. Brought out some FX3s, rigged them out. They're really popular right now. Come out, check us out.